What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. All right, like clockwork, Apple has just released its latest 16.1 beta three. It's available now. You guys can go pick it up. Downloaded OTA, obviously, as usual. This is gonna be pretty exciting, hopefully. I'm hoping we will have a couple of new features added. Obviously, with the first beta, we got the Live Activities API. That is very exciting. Apple discussed that to extent during WWDC. We are also getting that clean charging. We are getting Matter support. Older iPhones are also going to get the capability of getting that, uh, that battery percentage indicator on screen with the new changes to show the true battery life in the visual aid, not just in the numerical value. And hopefully this will have some other updates as well. We're gonna go ahead and install it actually as we speak and see what we get. All right, so beta three just finished installing. Let's go ahead and check this out. Unfortunately, you can't quite see a full demo of live activities yet just because apps haven't really integrated it. There's a rumor, however, if you go to the Apple TV app and go to the Watch Now tab and go to Live Sports and scroll to the bottom, you can see if you have any teams selected here that you would get these alerts automatically pushed via the Apple TV app. I have had no such luck. I've added some baseball teams as well. It didn't work. But if you go in here and hypothetically um, select a team you like or set that as an alert, you should get that notification on the lock screen as well as the dynamic island. We have not had any luck with that yet. So keep that in mind. It's built in here. It is still coming and I can't wait for that as a big sports fan. Now, moving on beyond that, if you go into your settings, we can take a look here at this new build and you can see, oops, this is going to be build 20 B. 5056E. So this is for beta three. I, I'm assuming this is gonna be the same version for every phone running iOS 16 beta one, 16.1 beta one, excuse me. Uh, but at least on my uh, 14 Pro Max, this is the version that it's pulling in. Aside from that, one of the other changes that we actually discussed prior is if you go into battery, battery charging and health now, you can see it's that clean energy charging. I turned it right off. A cell phone, an iPhone, Android, whatever the scenario is, really is not gonna impact the environment that much. Obviously with millions of devices, it can have a minor impact, but I turned this off just to make sure I'm charging at full potential wattage as often as possible. That's why I also turned off the optimized battery charging here. But aside from that, clean energy charging is what we're looking at that is new. You obviously do have your battery percentage. And like we said, it has changed now to where it is visually matching the percentage that is written here numerically. So it is dynamic now. If it was at 50%, it would show 50% in the background of the battery filled with that black bar. So those are the main things still. I have not found much else. It's a uh, pretty silly, small, minor updates here so far. But what I am really hoping is uh, and I should have stayed in the settings battery menu is something helping battery life. My battery life on my 14 Pro Max and even my regular 14 Pro has been pretty rough. I'm definitely not getting as much battery as I got on my 13 Pro Max with iOS 16. Uh, it's taken a downfall. You can see messaging is pretty significant. Twitter's up there, but lock screen with the uh, always on display enables pulling in 8%. So yeah. There's, a, there's definitely some areas for improvement here. What I'm doing is, if I scroll through all these pages, I'm running with, until I have to charge my phone, the screen on time and what apps are killing my battery. So you can take a look at that. You might want to install that widget just to get an idea as well. But aside from that, guys, that's really it right now. As soon as we find anything else, if there are any other changes, we'll throw up another video and post for you guys. But yeah. Let me know what you think in the bottom. Are you guys excited about the Live Activities API? Like I said, I think that's my most anticipated feature I'm waiting for, especially with that new dynamic island and always on display. For sports scores, even when I order an Uber, it'll be nice to see there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.